okay as you come in let me know if you can see and hear okay i am got a message from youtube saying that um the connection is slow so hopefully it will pick up a bit as we go i think that that's you know part of the potential issues when we've gone into school holidays now and um I think that everybody's at home and on the internet <laughs> even early in the morning so hopefully it um, stops buffering because that would make me sad but let me know when um, when you come in if you can see and hear okay we'll get started in a couple of moments It's going to be a very hot day here today. It's already super warm. I think it's going to be mid 30s. <clears throat> anyway, but um, and it's been super muggy. Really muggy. Hi, Kristen. Thank you so much for letting me know that, that you can see in here okay. Hopefully, there won't be too much buffering. There's really nothing much I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, internet in Australia is not wonderful, let's just say. It could be better. It could be improved. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, so I have the door open and I have the front door open. And I've got my fan on, so hopefully that's not too loud. Um, but you may hear birds and stuff outside because they're sort of carrying on a bit this morning. There was a couple of baby galahs out there before. Um, but the sun is really strong and hot already. But that's okay. That's what you get in summer, right? You can't help that. <laughs> so, I'm just looking at this little lemur's eyes and what we might do today. I was kind of torn between doing uh, around the eyes and the top of the head and doing his little snoot. But I think that in order to give it a bit more context, we will work on this sort of area around the eyes um, and probably work on the top of the head or start the, the top of the head anyway we'll just sort of see where we get up to and once, once we've done that section then we can move on down to the little nose I'm pretty excited he's pretty adorable I'm, um, I've really enjoyed having him sitting up on the wall looking over me for the last week so I'm happy. Alright, so we're going to do what uh, we usually do, working on a smooth hot press paper. It's going to look for the colour in an area that we're working on and get that down first. And the smooth papers and the hot we need to work from light to dark. Uh, so I'm looking at this little eye area and it's quite warm quite a warm colouring around here and then it becomes cooler colouring down on the nose here so I'm wanting to do a bit of um, warm greys as a base I think. I'm going to start on this eye here and just going to move my reference a little bit because I'm looking behind a camera. Okay so I'm following the and I'm just getting a nice base layer of this warm grey one down. So yeah, it's going to be warm today. And I think we're in for some thunderstorms this evening. Which are always good, but um, my poor cats don't appreciate it very much. Oops. What's the weather doing in your neck of the woods? I'm getting a bit jealous of seeing all of these wintry scenes from our northern neighbours.
Now from here down it gets really quite cool so I'm going to stop the warm grey there <clears throat> and then I think I want to start with the, a nice brown around the outside to give it a bit of context and it's quite a warm brown so I'm thinking that we might go with burnt umber or walnut let me think here we might start with burnt umber and see how we go really buffering it's such a bugger isn't it okay so I'm working with the darkest part of the out of the outer eye markings so I'm going to do a few little well, my pencil could be sharpened a bit further actually but I'm just going to get a little bit of base colour in there working in the direction of the fur and just working really lightly we'll build all these layers up a bit so I'm going out past what the, I had put down already in the warm grey and we'll add a bit of burnt ochre I think there's an orangey colour around the outside as well I'm also recording this so if it looks dreadful then I can always put a recording up as well. Um, technology. Okay. What I think I might do now is grab a little bit of burnt ochre just to give this a little more context as well and we'll get into the orange afterwards but um, right now it just gives the darker color a little place to sort of sit so again I'm just working really lightly in the direction of the fur can you hear the glass out there okay we've got um there's a lighter color in here which i think i'm going to use a bit of um brown ochre for but I might put a little bit of this orange just on this side here it's quite an orangey color as well as lighter browny working lightly working lightly until we get the values that we want up there all right I've got some cinnamon here I want to extend this pinky color out a little bit Sweet little eye. Uh, 
Okay. I'm going to go up in the warm greys a little bit to warm grey 3 now. And you can see that there's quite a light spot here, but everywhere else is, although we're sort of perceiving it as white or light, there's actually quite a bit of grey, quite a bit of colouring rounds in it. So let's add some of that in. I'm just doing very light for strokes. have my phone beside me I can see how much it's buffering it's so disappointing long furry strokes where there's the longer parts of longer fur longer pieces of fur longer hairs that's the word I want Sometimes I can have a plan in mind for what part of a um, portrait that I'm going to work on. <clears throat> and then as I start working on it, the little creature will tell me what it does or doesn't want to happen. Where I should be focusing on. So I'm getting the feeling here that we're actually going to go up and do the ear as well on this side. Okay, I'm going to take a bit of um, brown ochre now which is more of a yellowy brown and work that in here we need some more browns in here further too A little bit come down here. There's really nice bit of purpley colours in that. All right, I'm going to go with the warmer red now. So. Walnut brown, a walnut, a walnut brown, not a warmer, <laughs> a ready brown, and I'm kind of coming over the, of the um, burnt umber.
Okay, now take warm grey two. Start to blend some of that together. I've got a bit of a line happening here. The sage. One of my kitties is just, oh, two of them have come in. Violet's here now too. What is it, V? <laughs> just being sticky beaks, I think. It's increasing some of the grey markings around the top here and down towards the corner of the eye. Take my warm, my burnt umber again. Bring in a few very light so that you sort of integrate them into each other. I'm a little concerned about some noises that I'm hearing outside the door. I don't know what my cats are up to. I think it can't be any good. Seems to have been a real resist made by the pencil that I made the original outlines in. So I've got warm grey one again. I'm just trying it would have been a warm grey one that I've used, so it's very strange. It's gonna go up. So it's getting there, but it really is about building up slow and gentle layers. For me anyway, that's the way I like to work. Okay, just having a look. Oops. I'm actually going to take the slice tool because something about the eye has been bugging me and I think that just needs a couple of little flecks to soften it up a little bit. Look at that, that makes so much, um, makes such a difference. It's only little. takes the regularity away. That's better. Okay. I'm actually going to come and bring some lines into this darkness here and there's not enough pencil down really to do that at the moment. What I'm doing it for is we've got this I've got this resist happening where the original pencil line was put down so my pigment is not getting down there the way that I would like it to so it up. I'm going to take dark sepia now oh my little dark sepia <clears throat> not much left of this little pencil Let's bring a few little dark spots out. It 
So I'm being careful to bring hairs into the light section as well as out of because we want to have those nice tapered edges coming in as well as out. now which is this pinky color that we've got I'm gonna bring a little bit of that in the top here bottom here as this sort of starts to come into the blues this way oops was looking at my screen, not the, the pencil. Okay, we're looking a bit better there now. I might bring just a little bit of that out here in this brownie section. We'll get some of the cold grey one down in here. I'm just really looking at where I can darken up little bits and pieces. Um, I'm not pressing hard, I'm, I'm building my layers up. Okay, how's that going? It's looking alright I think. I'm going to take some Bista now and come back over on this side. Put a bit more of this yellowy colouring in around here. to into the orangey section because um, it's a color that works well with it okay look at that little eye all right now let me think How are we gonna approach this might actually start with the ear first. <clears throat> so I'm going to take uh, warm grey one again and some white. So we've got um, we've got orangey colouring happening all up through here. And then we've got some quite light whitey uh, I nearly said feathers hairs this way. Uh, and then it sort of comes down into a pinky grey sort of colour. I'm going to lift up a little bit of this outline that I've got there. 
particularly on the outside because we want that to be nice and light so it's just I've lifted it up enough that I can still see it lightly but you may not be able to see it on the camera um, and there's quite a bit <coughs> excuse me of darkness in here for the actual ear here as well um, so I'm going to go with some white first and again you're not really going to be able to see the white this is traditional white paper so it's not it's not bright white um, if you look at it in the right angle you'll see that there is white pencil on here but it's really just to get that light down okay I'm going to take my warm grey one now and come in with the soft um, hair strokes that you can see on this little under ear here this being really light And then up here, it's actually got a bit of pink in it as well, so we get some beige red into there. So I'm going to do all of the inside of the ear there with this warm grey one. Sort of come up a little bit into that white that we've put it up there and I'll probably bring a little bit of cold grey one into that white as well I know it's very light at the moment you can hardly see it on the camera here you can hardly see it in person either it's a car one with the white again to sort of pull those two together all right I'm going to take the cold gray one now and it's going to be this color that will let us um, get some understanding of the shape of the hair in the really sort of white areas and I'm looking at my anatomy like so I'm looking at where things are in relation to other part of the face so the line drawing is always just a you should be focusing on your reference and making sure the details are coming from that not from your line drawing just a light little ear all right so now I can get a darker color and I think I'm going to go with a darker cold grey so let's start with a three because we can always darken up and let's get some of the shape of this ear in so this is quite dark here and then we've got the outside shape here comes all the way up and then down and in Yeah. Some darkness in there. Some darkness in there. Okay, and then we'll just build that up. 
So what I'm going to do first is actually take the burnt ochre that we've been working on and define the edge of this orangey section here first using first strokes <coughs> and I'm going to take the coal, uh, the warm grey one and put a bit of base layer underneath it there there's not a lot of really light hairs but there's a few we might want to scratch back into them a little bit give ourselves something nice and light to work with Getting a bit of that orange down. There's less of it on this end here. I'll take a bit of cold grey one again here. Get a little bit of base down there as well. So I'm just working in the direction of the fur in that particular area. Look at that. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of the beige red, which is that really pink color, light pink, and I'm going to come up in here, bring a little bit of that color up and into the ear here. Just working lightly. Getting there, getting there. Um, there's actually a little bit of sort of orangey flecks of colour up in the top of the ear here. Let's add a little bit of that. Like a little smudge, someone smudged the orange. Um, and I'm going to take the dark umber, uh, burnt umber again and let's start to put some of these dark lines in of the ear, the fleshy part of the ear You're seeing um, the fleshy part of the ear through the hair here, so I want to keep that in mind. And I'm varying the uh, thicknesses of my strokes, and I want to bring a cold grey six in here as well. And you want to give the impression that um, you can see the sort of ear, the fleshy part through the hair. So working lightly 